Do you need some Flipper Zero accessories? Let's talk about that. Hello and welcome to Modern Broadcast. In today's episode, we are back again with the Flipper Zero as uh, I feel like there are some accessories that are needed uh, for this little device. Now, I'm not going to be going over a bunch of of like computer chips there's a lot that you can do with this gpio pins there's only one accessory uh that i'm going to be focusing on for that but really just like talking about like actual accessories to the flipper zero and yeah we'll just go from there this is going to be a top fives list and starting with number five i will say is the soft protective case for the flipper zero it unfortunately is this very noticeable orange but uh it is silicone and it is going to provide some protection for our flipper zero uh in case you drop it where you know it's better that it has this kind of protecting around it what's also nice up here on top is we have all the gpio pins labeled out so you know exactly what is what when looking at the top here so that's handy it's also on the flipper zero device but it's kind of hard to read this it's just a little bit more outline so let's go ahead and get this installed so really not much to it it just kind of kirby's around this morphs and eats it come on there we go so we have our gpio pins still accessible from the top let me get more centered here there we go we still have our access on the back here same with the charge port and our micro sd card slot it also comes with this little baggie here that was inside and inside is a gpio cover so we can just get that there and it looks like also a charge port no nope. <laughs> i think this is supposed to be this but it it does not uh it doesn't fit then our gpio cover here we got it flipped around let's go ahead and do that and that I'm pushing down on the two points as soon as i turn it upside down it just falls right out <laughs> So these are, are pretty useless, but uh, otherwise we now have uh, at least some protection around the console and its edges uh, to some extent. The next accessory that I want to talk about is this USB type C to A cable. And so this is pretty nifty. I have one already assembled here. So I'll set that aside. I bought a few of these as I really like this. I plan on putting one on my keys as well. Basically, you have this little charm here with the keychain, and then you push each side of the button here, and out comes. One end is USB type C, the other is USB. You are able to have this with your flipper on the go. Um, but honestly, this is just handy to have in general. I can't tell you how many times I've been out and about and I'm like, oh crap, I need a charger, or someone I'm with says I need a charger and no one has one so just clipping one of these onto your keys is really going to be helpful i definitely think everyone should probably get one of these all right and there we go so now we have it connected here uh so now we have a charge cable that's always going to be with our flipper zero to keep it charged on the go but more importantly we have a bad usb on the go directly connected to our flipper zero moving on to the next accessory uh so for me it's actually three and four is this next accessory and uh i don't think any flipper is complete without the developer wi-fi board now there are other boards out there that are smaller than this one this one is a bit uh big and kind of awkward in my opinion when it plugs into the flipper zero but i think if you have a flipper zero this is a must you have to have some sort of wi-fi capability to plug into your flipper zero and uh, the reason why this is three and four is because also i recommend getting a 3d printed case or print one yourself like i did i didn't plan ahead exactly so when i 3d printed mine i didn't have any screws to keep it all together so i used a lighter and sealed it within the case so this is forever in there unless i break off the plastic and i'm not doing that for a video so i definitely think that no flipper zero is complete without a wi-fi dev board last but not least for number five i cannot tell you how many times i've been trying to take my flipper zero i take it with me when i go out and about for the house and I have the flipper in my pocket and then I keep the Wi-Fi board in the, the Wi-Fi box here and I keep that in a separate pocket or I keep that in my work bag 
and it's kind of awkward and then i gotta open up two things or you know pull out the flipper and then open up this and it just it, it could be better 100 percent and so finally for the last accessory that i recommend is getting yourself a case that fits both the flipper and the wi-fi board whichever one you go with and uh so that way they are together now i just ordered this i have not messed with this at all i saw users uh referring to this online as a good case it's a little bit big in my opinion um, but it's a nice protective case for the flipper zero and the wi-fi board and it was only 12 dollars on amazon so this is lycus and uh you could really put whatever you want in here upon opening it completely padded inside both the top and bottom and then it has this kind of square pull apart foam that you just kind of pick apart the size needed for your flipper zero so we can do this up here and cut in for, for that very easy you just got to kind of you know play with the design a little bit get it to where you need it and then pull it apart and there we have it uh, we now have the flipper zero in there our usb type c and our uh, Wi-Fi dev board. So all that's in there nice and snug. Shut this, lock it up, nice and protected, and uh, it's not going anywhere. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. These are great accessories, and let me know in the comments below if one of these is now on your wish list. Have a great week, everyone, and take care.